Good morning, it's Friday, May 10th. I'm Adam Ellis and the JHS This Week is next. Today is the last day to check out books in the Media Center. Our reporters interviewed Miss Means for details. With the end of the year quickly approaching, there are some important library deadlines that need to be met. What are all the important information students should know about the library this year? The library will be closing for book checkout this coming Friday, May the 10th, and students will be receiving overdue notices after that time. Any book that's not turned into the library, students will be charged for on their book rental, and the cost will be whatever the replacement cost is for the book. Students, make sure all books are in before the end of the year or you will be charged. For the JHS Report, I'm Alexa Waldrop. Prom is tomorrow night. Are you ready? Are you going? What are you wearing? We asked those questions this week. What are your plans for prom? Uh, just go with my friends. We're going to eat first and go. Um, we are going to Martini's to eat. To eat and take pictures on the river. I'm getting dressed up. But I would love to go. I would really love to go. So if any of y'all ain't got a date, hey. Um, probably just hanging out with my friends and my boyfriend and our group. And just probably party on later at night. Um, go have fun and dance and then go home and sleep. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go in pretty swagful. And we're going to go out to eat like everybody else does, just have a good time. The after prom will be held here at Jeff High from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. with games, prizes, and free food. The final band concert is coming up next week. Reporter Elias Lucio chatted with several band members. This next news piece is a breeze, because it's about the wind symphony. Here we go. Is there anything special about you being a junior in the upcoming spring concert? Um, no, not really. It's a pretty traditional concert, mainly. Um, it's just a tradition that we do every year to have the concert. Well, are you doing anything special as a junior in this upcoming spring concert? Um, no, I'm the only saxophone that's a junior, so if that counts. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about being in Wind Symphony. There's a lot of people that don't get to make it every year. Are you doing anything special for preparations since your sophomore in the upcoming spring concert? Um, I'm practicing a lot more than what I did when I was in concert band. I don't want it to end. I'm going to miss it, and it, I just don't want to go at all. And, well, I don't want to leave on a bad note, so I'm glad that we're going with the music that we have because it's great music. And what will, you, what will you miss from your overall band experience at Jeff High? Um, marching with new students. It's fun to get involved and meet new people. So I'd like new friends, and it's gonna, I'm going to miss it. Um, yes, we have to take more of a leadership role than we did in the, as we were sophomores. And it's a lot harder because we're playing harder music this year than last year. Well, it's exciting because I'm a senior and it's my last concert ever, but uh, it's kind of sad at the same time because I've been in it for four years and I've put a lot of hard work into it. Anything special you're doing to prepare for it? Uh, we have an upcoming rehearsal on Thursday and we've had lots of rehearsals to prepare for contests and this upcoming spring concert. For the WJH support, I'm Elias Lucio. The spring concert is scheduled for Wednesday, May 15th at 7 p.m. in the JHS Auditorium. AP Studio Art students will display their work in downtown Jeffersonville this month. AP Art teacher Dawn Strzok has details. All right, what can you tell me about the AP Student Art Show coming? Um, May 17th, which is a Friday, is the opening night. Uh, that's from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m., and it's at the Old Bales Auto Lot in downtown Jeffersonville. Um, definitely be there that evening. We're going to have all the artwork will be there, about 120 pieces, um, along with refreshments and music. It'll be a good time. Uh, and Saturday, it's extended until Saturday, which is May 18th, from 10 to 2, just in case people aren't able to be there on Friday evening. But we really hope hope you guys are there Friday night for the opening. I'll try. What kind of work will we see in the AP Student Art Show? Uh, you're going to see a variety of work from sculptures to paintings of portraits to different sort of mediums. How well do you think this show will go? Oh, I think it'll be great. 
I mean, we all have 12 of the best artists in Jeff High, so with the best art teachers, so. And why it's called that? The name is Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali, um, and the name means it's something that you'll never forget. The JHS Spring Art Show will be held May 15th through May 21st in the Media Center. Dress code here at Jeff High is important. We talked to Ms. Strait to see what she has to say. What should people be wearing for a dress code, and what should they not wear? Well, the dress code is the same as it was the beginning of the year. Um, we need everyone covered with clothing from your shoulder to the top of your knee. Um, we've got some fashion against us with blue jeans and the holes in jeans and the thigh area. We need to not be able to see skin. Um, and those beautiful sundresses, um, we have to have shoulders covered and material to your knee while you're at school. They're great for other things, but um, not while you're at school. Uh, Flip-flops are still the really flimsy, flippity-floppity ones, um, are still against dress code. And the fire marshal and um, the police, when they were here at our last safety drill, really reiterated that that's kind of important um, so we're staying with that at least through the end of the year. Summer break means summer jobs for many JHS students. Some students however are unsure if they'll be working. Probably but the job is probably gonna be having swag I think. Uh, I want to but I don't think I will. I put in an application at the pool but I don't think I'm getting hired. <laughs> I do I'm the babysitting this summer. Yes I am as a lifeguard at the aquatic center so I can get money to eat tacos. Nah, bro, I'm just gonna be chill with my boys, you know, hoping, you know, you know what I mean. I already have a job. Where at? The Bristol in Jeffersonville. Uh, I was at first, but I'm not going to anymore. I was planning on applying to the new Taco Bell that they're opening up right over by Rural King. Yeah. No. I already have a job. I work at Chick-fil-A, so no. I'm considering it. I've put in at least uh, five applications. No, sir, I already have a job. I, I plan on maintaining it throughout summer, though. I don't know, because football is going to take up most of my summer, so I think I'll, I'll think about it probably if I'm not feeling lazy. Yeah, I'm probably working at uh, Pizza Hut, but uh, I might eat all the food, so I might get fired the next day. Um, I already have a job. I work at McDonald's. Well, I'm already employed at the Y, so I'll be working at Camp Honor Bright as a camp counselor. Yeah, I actually just applied at PacSun, so hopefully that falls through for me. Yeah. Why? Because I need the money. Because I play travel ball and basketball. So I can get money to pay for my car. I just got my license about a month ago, and I don't really need that much money right now. I just need a job, and it's going to be opening, and I don't think that, you know, it'll be that hard to get a job there. <laughs> for money? Because I'm too young, no one will give me a job. So I can make money? Because I don't want to work this summer. Because I'll be busy with sports this summer. Because uh, people be hating on me for real though. I just, all the haters want to be me. I plan on, I already got one for real. I'm an umpire at the Little League. For me, it's like $40 a game. So I'm just making money. I'm not too worried about nothing. Plus, at my job, I get $40 a game. Straight cash. No tax taken out. That's alive, you tell me, that's alive. So I'm with it if you with it. Point him out, point him out. The senior showcase is fast approaching and the auditions will be held today. I'm Haley Fugate and today we're gonna to take a further look to the senior showcase auditions. Ms. Cook, can you give us a little bit more information about the senior showcase? Sure. The senior showcase is designed to allow singers to celebrate their time together. The sign-up sheet is on the bulletin board across from the cafeteria, and sign-ups are until this Friday. You'll come to B213, which is my classroom, and just kind of demonstrate what you're going to do. It could be poetry, it could be singing, it could be doing a silly skit. It really doesn't matter, but you'll come and try out for us on Friday, and then you will do that in front of your entire singer class on Thursday at the actual Singer Showcase. Uh, they said that Fuzz Cardwell was going to be participating in the Senior Showcase. Is that true? Yeah, that's very true. I will be singing Take a Shot for Me by Drizzy. It should be a good time. Come out and watch me. There we go. This is a little information about the Senior Showcase. We hope to see you out there next Thursday and come support your seniors. That's this week's report. I'm Adam Ellis. Have a great week and thank you for watching.